Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, and today I'm going to see what the worst PLO algorithm is. So, I have all these algorithms down here, I have 3x3, 4x4, 6x6, and 3x3 one-handed, and then I have what the, the PLO algorithms, so I have E-perm, F-perm, G-perm, N-perm, V-perm, Y-perm, and Z-perm, those are the hardest algorithms for me. So, uh, those are the top 7 hardest algorithms, and I don't quite know which one is the hardest, so I'm going to find out. So, I'm going to start with the, the E-perm, which is at the top and start with just normal 3x3. Three three. So, uh, when you finish an OLL algorithm and you have to do an EPERM algorithm, it can be kind of annoying to have to do a Q rotation, so I'm going to give it a 3. It's not too bad, but it is kind of annoying. Now, on the 4x4, four four, it's almost like the same thing, but it's a little bit harder. Oops. <laughs> I, that one I slipped. That wasn't the algorithm. But that was me. But uh, I'm going to also give it a 3 on the 4x4. And now on the 6x6, it's a little bit harder because it's harder to do finger tricks on it. On the EPERM algorithm and especially on the 6x6. So I'm going to give this one a 2 on there. It might just be that my 6x6 is not the best quality, but that is also, like, not the algorithm I want to have when I finish an OLL case. So now 3x3 one-handed is very, very bad with an EPERM. So uh, I can't really do it like that. I have to do it like this, but, well, I could, but it would be harder. Oh, and I I so hate doing this. I'm so I it could be I'm just not good at one at OH, but uh, this is <laughs> that's very bad. So I'm going to give that a one on the EPERM algorithm. So uh, next, where I'm going to uh, undo that. Next, we're moving on to FPERM. So I'm going to start with three by three. The FPERM is actually a really fast algorithm on the three by three. But not the fastest one, but also a really fast one. So I'm going to give this one a 4. And on the 4x4, four four, it's pretty much the same to get an, an F-perm on the 4x4. Uh, four four, and pretty easy to do finger tricks with, so I will also give it a 4. And now on the 6x6, six six, I'm going to maybe also give this one a 4 because this is actually a uh, easier one than I thought. So I have another 4 in there. But then on 3x3 three three one, one handed I'm going to uh, just see I'm not as good with the OH as I am with the other algorithms but yeah, that, that one actually is kind of easy, but it's a little hard to do F-perms on 3x3OH. So I'm going to... Yeah, this is kind of hard. Okay, I'm going to give that one a 2 on there because it's kind of the hard one. So now uh, moving on to G-perm. So... This is one of the G-perm algorithms. There's four of them, so I can't really go through all of them, but this is the one, this is one of my hated algorithms when I finish uh, an OLL solve, when I'm about, especially when about, I'm about to get a sub 10, and it ends up being like 15 seconds because I'm so bad at, at it. I try to do good, but it's just a really hard algorithm, so I'm going to give this one on 3x3, three three, I'm going to give it a 1. 
So, now on the 4x4, and part of it is that I always, it's the most common algorithm because there's four of them, so I always get it, and it's, it's always like really, really annoying. But on the 4x4, it's not quite as hard, so I'm going to give it a 2. And now on the 6x6, G-Perm on the 6x6 aren't quite as hard because the 6x6 I can't do many finger tricks with. So I'm going to give it a 3. And, oh, please stop popping. <laughs> I'm going to give it a 3 on the 6x6. And now I'm going to move on to 3x3 OH. So this is the G-Perm algorithm. And I don't like doing R prime moves, but it's easier than nothing. But that last D prime move, or the like, it's like that last D move or D prime move is always the hardest, and it's so easy to get plus two on. So uh, I'm going to, I'm going to give that one a two on there. I'm not as good with O H as I am with the other ones, but. I'm going to give the G-Perm one a 2. So now moving on to the N-Perm. And obviously the N-Perm is a, one of my hated algorithms because it's it's a really long algorithm and it takes a long time to do. Or I have to do a cube rotation, which I hate doing cube rotations. So either both algorithms I know are just not very good. So for the 3x3, three three, I'm going to give it a 2. It's not terrible, but it's just not my favorite algorithm. So now on a 4x4. Four four, and the input algorithm is not too hard on a 4x4. Four four, but it's still kind of long and kind of hard, so I'll give it a 3. On the, uh, oops, I moved the paper. On the 6x6, six six, it's actually one of the easier ones, but I still don't really like doing the algorithm too much, but I will also give it a 3. And now on 3x3 three three OH, obviously I, I am not going to do good at this, but I'm going to see what I can do. So, this is how good I am. I need to get a little bit better at this. But uh, anyway, yeah, so that's not too hard, but I will give it a two because it's kind of hard. So I'm going to get that back and move on to VPOM. VPOM is probably one of the most hated algorithms as well. So I'm going to uh, see what my score is on that one. I can't wait to just find this one out. Okay, so starting with 3x3, three three, so that's an F perm. This is the V perm algorithm. I do not like the V perm algorithm at all because it has a cube rotation, but it's better than some of the hard algorithms. So I will give this one a 2 on the 3x3. Three three. Moving on to a 4x4. Four four. So. Uh, this one is actually not quite as hard, but I do not like rotating the cube on the 4x4, four four, so I will also give it a 2. And now on the 6x6, six six, the 6x6 six six you pretty much always have to do cube rotations during the whole solve. There's no way you can just solve it without doing a single cube rotation. So I'm going to give the 6x6 six six a 3. And now doing 3x3 three three OH is really hard on v perms because of the cube rotation. So, yeah, that cube rotation is makes it so hard to do. So, oh yeah, I, I absolutely hate doing the v perm algorithm on 3x3 uh, three three OH. So... Uh, yeah, if I can get this back, there we go. I'm going to give that one a 1, because that is really, really bad. And 
it looks like G poem and V poem are tied, so we'll see which one is uh is which one is worse. And if not, then they're gonna be both tied. So now moving on to Y perm. So uh Y perms are actually pretty easy on three by three. And so I will give them give them a four. And on the four by four is also pretty easy. So I will also give it a four. It's not the easiest algorithm, but it's pretty easy. Now on the six by six, I'm doing the wrong algorithm there. On the six by six, it's it's pretty easy, but yeah, I will also give this one a four, I think. And now on three by three OH, I will. It's actually it's e actually one of the easy ones on three by three OH too. I don't know why I put Y poem on there. I'm gonna give that one a three. So uh, I'm gonna give it a four actually. Cross out that three. It's actually one of the easier ones on three by three OH actually. So. Yeah, I will give that one a a four. So all fours on this one, Y perm is definitely not gonna win. Now Z perm, Z perms are one of the easiest ones on a three by three, but for some cubes they might not be so easy. So I will give this one a five on the three by three. Now for four by four, and it's pretty easy, but it this. It kind of like, I don't like doing that last U prime move on a 4x4, so I will give this one a 4. And now moving on to 6x6, I do not like doing uh, Z perms on big cubes. I don't like doing in moves on big cubes because it's really slow, so I will give the 6x6, six six, I'll probably give it a 3. And then on 3x3OH three three oh is definitely what the worst one I have so <laughs> oh I do not like that I do not even want to do that again I'm going to give it a one there <laughs> yeah Z perms are so hard on 3x3 three three OH, but on the other ones, they're not actually that hard. Okay, so now that I've rated all the algorithms, time to add up the scores. So starting with E perm, 3, 3, 2, and 1 is 9. So E perm has 9. 4, 4, 4, and 2 is 14. 1, 2, 3, and 2 is 8. So the G perm will get an 8 on there. 2, 3, 3, and 2 is 10. So, in perm we'll get a 10. So far, G perm is the worst. 2, 2, 3, and 1 is 8. So, it this one also gets an 8. And uh, 4, 4, 4, and 4 is 16. So, uh, it says V8 on there. <laughs> That's a kind of a joke on there. Okay, 4, 4, 4, 4 is 16. So that's definitely E perm is or Y perm is probably the easiest one. Five plus four is nine plus three is twelve plus one is thirteen. So Z perm gets thirteen points. So now it looks like G perm and V perm are tied. So I'm going to soak all these two on there as the worst ones so those are the first so i'm going to put a one on each of them and then e perm is next so i will have it be two n perm will be three f perm will be four and or no cross out z perm will be four f perm will be five and uh y perm will be six so Yep, okay, so the two of them are in first, and then E perm is second. 
So those are the top seven hardest PLR algorithms. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. We forgot to rate that one.